$2,000, you could potentially have a DJ system just like the one that you see on here. DJ Bar, welcome to my new show entitled Amazon Money Challenge. The show where you guys give me a set amount of money and I go on Amazon and try to build a DJ system with it. In this episode, the money challenge will be $2,000. So I'm going to go on Amazon and try to build a DJ system from the ground up with only $2,000. Now, the only two things that won't be included with this challenge is a laptop and music. If you need help finding music, check out my friends over at bpmsupreme.com. They hands down are my favorite record pool. So check those guys out. They have a wide variety of music crossing multiple different genres. And if you need a computer, I honestly, I would probably just go to my local Best Buy or Apple store and try to get myself on the best computer that I can possibly afford. Um, I would try to aim for the MacBook Pro, but if you can't afford that, then check out some of the other computers. Just make sure that it has some pretty buffy specs because you don't want your computer crapping out on you. And with that being said, let's get this challenge started. $2,000, can we build an awesome DJ system with it? Here we go. All right, here we are on my favorite website, Amazon. The first thing that we obviously need if we want to become a DJ and we want to build a mobile DJ system is obviously a DJ controller. Now, I'm partial to Pioneer, so we're just going to go ahead and type in Pioneer uh, DJ and we're gonna buy the cheapest controller that Pioneer offers so we're gonna go uh, low to high I want to make sure that also prime is on and also I want something that's quality I want four stars and up so we have the RB uh, I know that the RB means record box I don't want a record box controller I'm personally a Serato guy so because I'm building this for myself if I were just starting out I am going to go with a Serato enabled controller so over here, I see the Pioneer DDJ SB3 DJ controller only. $248, so 250 bucks. I usually try to look for bundles, like for example here, you see that there's a nice bundle that offers you a laptop, you also the case, and the DJ controller. Um, I've also used the SB3, and it's a pretty good controller considering it's an entry level controller, and at 248 bucks, you can't go wrong. Let's just go ahead and add all these three for $303. I think that is a great deal for a DJ controller case and laptop stand all things we'll need for our system so I'm gonna go ahead and press add all three next up we need a uh, we need a pair of headphones we're gonna stick in the pioneer family my goal with headphones is I want to spend you know about a hundred bucks I don't want the cheapest headphones that they have but I also don't want the most expensive headphones that they have pioneer headphones all right so uh, these are about a hundred bucks they're nice quality headphones I like the fact that they're all black Black like my soul. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add those. And how much are we in? We are in $400 deep. We essentially have the bare minimums if you wanna become a bedroom DJ. Now, uh, if you wanna be a bedroom DJ, you might wanna add a pair of monitors. You can see that they have a nice cheap pair of monitors for 200 bucks. Now that we have the bare essentials, what do we need next? We obviously need speakers. We need speakers if we wanna DJ party. And speakers is going to be a tough search because they're just a wide variety of different speakers of different prices I definitely don't want to totally skimp out on speakers I know that we're only working with two thousand dollars so money is really tight my budget is going to be about 800 bucks so speakers that are about 400 each and also I want to make sure that they are powered I do not want passive speakers because I want to make my life as simple as possible so our search for DJ speakers came out a little broad um, so I just want to type in the name of some manufacturer that I know has relatively inexpensive DJ speakers that I recognize that company being Mackie and the reason why I'm doing Mackie is because I know that one of the most popular entry-level speakers are the Mackie thumps that's what a lot of DJs that I talked to started out on so uh, that's what we're gonna start out on boom and we have a couple different ones Wow okay 900 bucks that's not bad it's a 
little bit more than I'm willing to spend. So showing up here, we have an Amazon Choice, the Mackie Thumps, uh, 1300 watt speakers, 15 inch, so a nice size. Uh, you should be able to do about a 100 person party with a pair of these. There's a couple of bundle deals down below, so we might want to pick up a bundle if we at all can. And look at this, we found a nice bundle. Oh, but these are 12s, I kind of want 15s. Ooh, let's see. We might have to go with the 12s just because uh, money problems. Money problems. You know, it's tough out here for a pimp. So uh, this one is the one that stands out to me the most. It's only a 12-inch speaker, which is okay. Um, that's generally what most DJs who are starting out use, 12-inch speakers. 15-inch speakers are a little bit bigger, but uh, money's just tight. So we're going to go ahead and pick up this pair right here. Let's check out the specs. Um, so we have a Mackie Thumps 12 uh, 1300 watt speakers and it also comes with stands, cable, and a bag for your actual stand. And these are Rockville stands. Add this to our cart. So let's check our cart. We are five items in and this is what we got. We have a pair of speakers at $720. We got our headphones at $100. We have a Pioneer SB3 at $250. We have a $35 case and we have a $20 laptop stand. So right now we are in $1,120 and essentially this is all you need to get started. Assuming that when you do your events that you're going to have a table, a tablecloth, you know, to try to make things look presentable. This is all you'll essentially need. You might need a couple of cables here and there and that's where we're going next. We're going to start building uh, the accessories, the things that aren't necessarily that important. Up next, I want to start pimping out our setup and the first thing to pimp out our setup that really gives it a little bit of oomph is adding of course a DJ facade. Four stars and up I want a quality system um, as you guys can see here this one is only 120 bucks for a facade but I but I don't necessarily like this facade because I don't like that black trim I like an all white trim then we might go with this one right here for 150 bucks can't go wrong with that facade. And it comes with a travel bag, so um, let's go ahead and add this to our cart. Now we have a pretty nice looking system. What do we need next? We need to light our facade. Now I know the perfect lights, they're a little bit pricey, so it might throw off our budget, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna type in ADJ Mega Hex Pars. The reason why I chose uh, Parkins is because these are hands down the most versatile light that you can get if you're just getting started out on DJ. You can buy this set of four for 400 bucks, comes with a case, comes with cables, comes with a remote. I personally own this pack and I know how versatile it is. So what you can do is you can take two of these parts to light up your facade, just light up the two middle panels. You don't have to light up the outside panels. You can take the other two parts, you clamp them onto your speaker tripods and you got yourself a nice system. I'm gonna go ahead and add this them because these are lights that are gonna last you for a long long time once you start growing and you start building bigger setups you're gonna be using these pars as up lights or you're gonna be using them to light up your totems so these pars are just super super versatile they're just so versatile they're gonna last me for years and years and years so right now we are in about seventeen hundred dollars but we have pretty much everything that we need to build an awesome awesome setup so last but not least we gotta add a microphone we probably should have done that before microphone budget it's gonna be about a hundred bucks I don't want a super dirt cheap microphone and I also don't want a super expensive microphone as many of you guys know microphones can get really expensive I do not recommend a $30 microphone the sweet spot is about a hundred bucks and as you guys can see here this one for a hundred bucks you get two microphones a receiver this is the route that we want to go we want to get this set right here add that to cart no thanks no protection i use the pull out method want to also get a four foot uh foldable table uh just want to get a nice cheap one uh 40 bucks right here on amazon we're gonna go ahead and grab that want to get a 25 foot extension cord three outlet boom um so boom a lot of them showed up uh, this is the one that I like here. This is the one I use. So what I usually do is I put one on each side, one on the right side and one on the left side for each speaker. These are super versatile. They're 25 foot, so they're really long and they're thick too. <laughs> that sounded really bad, but uh, you guys get my point. So last thing we'll need is we'll need a couple cables to kind of put everything
everything together. So I want to look for a RCA, I believe is what Pioneer DDJ uses. Uh, let's check out our outputs here. Yes, so your master out is RCA. So we need to do RCA to our speakers, which our speakers are... It's a dual quarter inch XLR input quarter inch to mono RCA. Closest thing that shows up is this pig hog cable. We want a long one though. Does it come? Uh, 15 feet. That's perfect. My guess with this is that you can rip these apart. I'm hoping that they're not stuck together. I'm honestly not sure if they are. So you might need to buy two of these, but they're not that expensive. So let's just go ahead and add two of these. Worst case scenario, if you can't split them apart, you can just come out of one and one and then go to either side. Last cable that we'll need is a quarter inch for our microphone. On this, you have two inputs and you also have a mix out. The cheapest way to do it is to just use that mix out however you'll lose volume control because your mixer only has volume control for one the right way to do it would be to get an xlr to quarter inch and then just go into that however because we're so tight on money we can't go in and buy a separate external mixer which is something that i would like to do but the money's just not there so we're gonna go quarter inch to quarter inch i'm sorry right off the bat we have this amazon choice hosa one i'm just gonna go ahead and buy it it doesn't need to be that long five feet uh, i'm just gonna go ahead and get the five feet so that we have some slack three feet might be a little bit tight that's pretty much all we need we could get a separate external mixer if you guys want to go in that deep i recommend something like a mackie mix 5 mixer or a yamaha mixer yamaha being the better of the two you could probably get one of those for about a hundred dollars or fifty dollars if you get the mackie mix 5 that'll give you an external mixer so you can plug in your system and you can also plug in both of your microphones that's probably the better way to do it this one right here for a hundred bucks can't go wrong with it it's a great little mixer actually i'm gonna go ahead and add that mix five just in case you guys want to check it out not gonna mess with our numbers too much i think we can afford it yeah i mean it puts us right under forty dollars this mackie mix five mixer was optional i'm gonna go ahead and delete it we don't actually need that one thing that i do want to get is i want to get some more outlet this is the ones that i use right here i carry two of these in my bag a little bit expensive but for this i'm just gonna add one just so that we can get some more outlets just in case six is not enough with all this we are in at 1940 with taxes it might put us over just a little bit let's proceed to check out with that being said taxes is our only crazy variable that's gonna really depend on where you live right now I live in New Jersey so our total would be two thousand sixty nine dollars and twenty seven cents for just over two thousand dollars we built a pretty killer DJ system in my opinion now i personally don't own all this stuff but i want to show you guys kind of a picture of what that setup would look like so right here is a picture of what the setup could potentially look like now there are some variables here because obviously i have a lot more stuff but obviously i built my system over the years so it's not like i bought everything all at once as many of you guys know one thing that i like doing is i like putting my speakers behind the facade you don't have to do that you can however do that with that facade that we bought the reason i do this is because i think it gives the look a nice cleaner look also another thing that you guys see here is that i'm lighting up the whole facade with four park cans now now we only bought four, so you can't do this if you want to have some sort of dance floor lighting. The way uh, that I'm telling you guys to do it is just light up the two middle panels here and fold these back out and then just have your tripods on the outside of the facade. And then what you do is you mount the park hands underneath the speakers here so that you have some sort of dance for lighting also i don't have these flashing all night only when people start dancing that's when i turn them on for the rest of the night they're usually off behind the facade is a four foot table and my mixer i have a crazy big mixer so i don't want to talk about that but it's essentially the same idea and uh this is that same venue with a bigger setup um as you guys can see we multi-purpose those parts so later on when you have more parts you can use them to light up totems like i said in the future for two thousand dollars you could potentially have a dj system just like the one that you see on here with a system like this you could be charging a pretty nice chunk of change let's say you start charging maybe 500 bucks 800 bucks for using this system and even if you're at 500 it'll only take four gigs to pay everything off at the 500 mark there you guys have it a nice little system built under two 
thousand dollars. I'm gonna leave links to everything that I showed you guys here today down in the description of this video. I hope you guys found this video informative. Please share with all your friends on social media. If you have any questions, any comments or concerns, or think that you could have built a better system, let me know down in the comments below what pieces you would have bought. What are some changes that you would have made to the system? Let me know how you would have personally made it better. Like I said, this is all in my personal opinion. I'd love to hear yours. Like this video if you like this. Subscribe to the video around here. And if you really want to help me out, don't forget to turn on that bell so you can be notified next time we do another challenge video. Challenge me in the comments below and let me know how much you like me to spend next time. Signing off your homie, DJ Bar. Peace.